Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be discussing a very requested subject, this being how in the hell do records work in this game and how can you use them and create them properly. Before we get started, be sure to swipe down a bit and tap that subscribe button along with the notification bell for more videos. Now let's get started. Alright, so first and foremost, I do want to apologize because this video is very long overdue, but in all honesty, I just haven't played with partner records until a few days ago, and I will admit I should have long ago because they can be extremely useful if you know what you're doing. Now in SAO Alicization Licorice, arts codes can simply be thought of as teaching your AI partners what to do in different circumstances. When arts codes are recorded and learned, they come with a couple options that can be customized to help your AI partner better understand what they should be doing in battle. If you're still having trouble understanding, think of it in terms of an if this then that game, where if, for example, the beast is fighting you, then your partner should attack and use sword skills effectively. Another example would be if your party member's health is down, then heal them. Now I will be first to admit that while my explanation makes arts codes seem straightforward, they can be a little confusing the most, so let me explain further. Now under your records menu you will see your arts codes, which will be different for each character and exist probably because of your previous battles, unless you already know what you are doing and you have been creating them thus far. Now in total you can use up to 6 arts codes with one of them being your personal at the top which should be labeled as your persona. Each arts code is different and relates to a single topic regarding battles such as buffs, healing, debuffs, chain attacks, and more. Now with this being said, you can technically have a sword skill being recorded inside of a healing arts code, so those are things that we will want to customize so they don't happen. With this being said, each arts code also has a requirement or something specific that is the trigger for the AI partner to execute that arts code. Examples of this are, if an enemy is not debuffed, then start the debuff arts code. If a party member's health reaches below 99%, use this healing combat sword skill. These requirements can be set up manually either by selecting record new, which will ask for the arts code's name and then ask for a trigger. Before we go any further, I do want to note that you do not need to follow this process every time to start your new record. In fact, if you have available slots under records and you leverage your partner in battle, these will be recorded and thus the arts code type, trigger, and main skills will all be recorded, which is what I recommend and probably prefer. So with all of this explanation so far, hopefully you understand a little more about arts codes and how to get them started. Now I will say that you want to think carefully about what you want your AI partners to do and then tailor your arts codes around that. For example, in my main party I have Lizbeth for a tank, Asuna for a healer, and Riona as a debuffer. This is a pretty well rounded party and thus I tailor and customize their arts codes for each role. So this does require you to set them up with the right combat, sword, and passive skills. Now that you understand how to actually get started with the arts codes, let's jump into recording them and then customizing them to your liking. As shown, when you select your arts codes and select customize, you will see instruction blocks linked together. These instruction blocks always start with the first one being think. This is just for your AI partners to think based on the underlying code in the game and thus you cannot customize it besides what they call out when they are thinking and are really at the mercy of the game for this. From this instruction you will then see other instruction blocks that are linked to think which are the next instruction to follow. Now in this example that is being shown, Riona has an arts code type debuff powerful enemies. When Riona notices that the enemy is not debuffed, this arts code will then trigger. Riona will then take a second to think and then charge the enemy and use the sword skill Armor Piercer which applies a defense debuff. From here she will use Armor Piercer again and then use Try Pierce. So it's not as complicated as it seems but I do want to mention that this record was recorded manually by me playing as Riona and fighting the enemy, which again will automatically record what you do. As shown though, there are a couple options that are available for each instruction which is based on your preference, these typically being the trigger, available for chain tag, effective party members, and much more. These can typically be set to yes or no and affect the way your AI partner determines what next to do. For example, Riona's second armor piercer goes straight into Tri Pierce instruction block, which then asks if the sword skill is available for a chain attack, meaning she will only use that if a chain attack is available. So since I want her to use it regardless if a chain attack is available, I set the option to no. This way Riona will apply both debuffs from Armor Piercer and Tri Pierce without me having to manually tell her to do so. 
Another option in the instruction blocks is the distance from the enemy, which basically means how far away can the player be to activate this. Now I have mine set all the way up because I want Riona to apply debuffs no matter where she is. If you set it too close then she may be too far away and won't try to apply the debuff. It is important to note that you typically want to record a charge in followed by your sword skill so that way you have it on the instruction block and if they are far away they will charge in first and then execute the instruction block. Next for customization is locking and graying out. If you select an instruction you will have the option to remove the segment, lock it off or gray it out. Removing the segment is self explanatory while locking will ensure that nothing else happens to that segment such as another branch starting from it. This happens when your AI partner follows all the right steps including the arts code, the trigger, and the first instruction, and then instead of going to the next, maybe you manually tell them to execute a different skill while in battle. This will then be recorded and you will have a branch coming from that skill it stopped at that branches into another. So I recommend when you get a good set of instructions recorded, lock them out and move on to the next ones you want. Last is graying out which means those instructions will not be used in the arts code. This can be useful for some already set arts codes instructions you have. In this example I will use Asuna and her healing arts code. As we see the trigger is when party HP has decreased, Asuna may use dance of life which is followed by the instructions Freire's Rondo and Linear. Now I only want this arts codes to be used for healing so I can either gray out this segment or just fully remove it because Linear is a sword skill and again I only want healing to be done for this arts code. Please be aware that if you gray out an instruction, the instructions after that will also be grayed out as well. So that's just something to remember that's very, very important. All right, so lastly, I will show you guys how I simply record the arts code I want. In this example, I will be using Riona, and I have her mainly built as a debuffer, so I want her arts code to reflect this as well. As we can see, she has no debuff arts code, which I want. So what I will do is switch to her in party and aggro an enemy. Right now your actions are being recorded so it is important to get the instructions the way you want them and get them right the first time. I'm going to start by charging into battle, using armor piercer and then after using tri piercer. Then I will stop attacking for a second and let the game record those instructions and create an arts code automatically as shown on the left. Now if I go into my records my new arts code is there with the instructions I wanted because it was being recorded. Now I will be honest in saying that while the AI partner's arts code is a pretty cool feature in the game, there are some amazing builds in the game that just make it unnecessary because there's no point in getting your party up and having all of these sets and instructions if you're just going to kill the enemy within seconds. But for those of you that maybe need that extra help from your partners until you get geared up and get your right builds, again this will be important. Now a couple of last things is one, yes you can go ahead and copy your arts code. What you need to do is click on an empty arts code and then you can go ahead and hit storage and then you can pick one from your storage that has been copied before. Another thing to note is that if you go to the network menu in your game you can actually search for art codes that are already pre-made or you can just go to the ranking and look for the ones that are ranked the best. This is probably an easy way to get some that you really want to do but in my opinion honestly I would recommend you just manually feel them out for yourselves, test them and get them right for your gameplay. Now as I start to create some of the arts codes for characters like Liz, Asuna, Riona and some others I'll definitely be uploading them so that way you guys can go ahead and download them. I just again I just just started playing with the arts codes because I didn't need them but it has been a very very requested subject. Alright everyone I hope this video was helpful with understanding arts codes, customizing them and how to create them. If you found it helpful please leave a like and subscribe for more guides coming very very soon especially with some other games as well. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.